In this video, I'll be showing you how to make the new triple slip knot bracelet using the monster tail. I also have a tutorial showing how to make the double slip knot bracelet using a regular loom. So what you will need is a monster tail loom and I have just put this grip, this rubber grip down that's just going to help me as I'm stretching the bands because my desk surface is very smooth. So you want to choose your colors and you will need approximately 200 bands, maybe just slightly more depending on the size of your wrist to make this bracelet. And I have chosen red and white and black. So I'm going to begin with the white. And for all of the center pins, the bands I place on will be doubled. So in order to do that, I'm going to just place it on my hook twist, put it back on so you can see the two bands on the hook and it's going to go on this lower pin that's closest to me from the left hand side across to the right. And now on the center pin I'm going to put a red band. Again it's going to be doubled and it's going to go from the left hand side and cross over to the right and you want to push these down to the bottom as you place them on and now I'm going to switch back to white again it's doubled and it's going from the left to the right now I'm at the top pin here and now I want to take a black rubber band and this time I'm not doubling it it's just single and it's going to stretch all the way from the bottom and up to the top and now what I want to do is I want the rubber bands on the right hand side to go across to the left. There's going to be two bands on each pin since we doubled that band. So you're just taking them off of this pin, moving them across to the left. I want to do that for all three. And now you can see on these pins I have four rubber bands and I want the bottom two to come out and over the top. That's going to make the slip knot. So I'm taking them two at a time, doing it for all three. And I'm going to push this all down. And now I just want to carefully put my hook on either side of these just to make that, that slip knot grip that black band so it's a little bit snug against there. And now I am going to put my next layer. And I have decided to switch the colors around in the middle for every layer. So now I'll do red on top of where the white was. Again, I'm doubling all of these center bands and stretching across. And now I'll put white in the middle. And then red on top here. And now I'm going to place my black rubber band that's going to stretch all the way across all of these. And now I want the bands on the right hand side to go over top, over to the left. I'm taking two at once. And these pins do get very full, so you may have to push them down so you have room to add them. And now once again, if you look at the pins, you can see that this red one came a little bit down over top of the white. We don't want that to happen. We want them to be on the same in the same order on the pins as what we place them on. So now I want the lower layer of this top band that I just put over to go over the top. So in this case, the one closest to me, it's red on top, so I want the two lower red bands to come out and over the top to make that slip knot. In the middle it's the two white bands in the center to come over the top. And then on the end here again it's red, the two red bands in the middle. 
and you want to push all of this down and now what I'm going to do is just carefully put my hook around the sides to make these slip knots go tighter against the black rubber band if you can see how they look on the inside here you want them to be snug against there and now we're going to push all of this down and we want to add one more layer it's going to make the pins very full so it might be a little tough to work with and again I'm going to switch up the colors so I'll do white closest to me and I'm doubling all the middle here again you want to always just keep pushing those rubber bands down and red in the center and now I'll do white on the top and now I'm going to put that black band stretching all the way across it's just a single band and now I'm getting the rubber bands on the right pin to come over the top and onto the left you want to push these down and now you can see how full this all is and we want the two bands to come over the top to make the slip knot remember you're just dealing with the top band we just put on and so the first two bands are the top of that band we don't want to do anything with we want the next two bands so it would be the third and fourth band down from the top of the loom you want that to come over the top and now on this middle pin it's going to be the third and fourth band down they're both going to be red hopefully it's not too confusing for everyone and now at the top here again it's going to be the third and fourth band down and they're both going to be white you want to push all of this down and then don't forget to make that slip knot get tighter on the black band so if you just slide the both sides together here and now we have three layers on so we want to remove the bottom layer so from the end you're just going to have one single black band to come out and over the top into the middle and now on the other pins you're going to have two rubber bands the two bottom bands sometimes they're a little hard to separate and now at the top here we have just one single black band and then you want to push all of this down and now we're going to add the next layer so I'm switching up the colors I'll do red at the bottom it's just going across and now I have white for the center and then red at the top I'm placing the black band across them all and now I'm taking the bands on the right over to the left And now we want the lower two bands of that layer we just put on to go over the top so remember it's going to be the third and fourth band down so for instance on the pin that's closest to me we have the red bands on top so it's not the top two it's the next two red to come over and then on the middle it's the third and fourth band from the top in white 
And then at the top here, it's going to be the third and fourth band of red. And then you want to push all of this down. And then just push against this black band to make the slip knot slide tight against for all three of them. And we want the bottom rubber bands to come off again. So I have black on the end, one single band. Now the bottom two red. And then white. And at the top pin, there's the two red. And then finally black on the very end. And push down. So that is the pattern we're just going to continue doing. When you have your bracelet to the length that you'd like it and you're ready to take it off the loom, what you want to do is you should have two layers left on, so you want to remove the bottom layer. So it's going to be one single band from the ends, and then two from the center, taking them both at once. And then one from the other end here. And now what I am going to do is I am going to take the bands off of this center pin and I'm going to spread them out. So I'll take the top one and I'll move that to down to the pin below and I'll move the other one to the pin above. Normally when I take a bracelet off I put everything into the middle but since this is so thick I want to do it spread out so I'm going to actually use two clips and now I'm going to take the one from the end and move it in. I'm taking the one from the other end and moving that in to the middle. And now I want the lower two bands to come out and over the top on both ends here. And I have two C clips, so what I'm going to do is just take one of the clips and slide it down through and get these bands hooked. And I'm going to take the other C-clip and do the same thing. Just slide it on. And now I can remove this. And then here is what your bracelet looks like on the one side. And then here's what it looks like on the flip side. And you can see that this does want to curl. I think it does that because the bands are pulled tighter on one side than the other, where the slip knot is, and so it tends to want to make it curl up. But it shouldn't be a problem when it's around your wrist. And now I'm just going to take some loose bands. Actually, I'll get my hook. And I'll take a couple loose bands from the one side. I'll pick up this black band that's on the end. And I will hook this through. And now I'll do the same thing to the other side here. And then there is your bracelet. And here is another bracelet that I made using the same pattern. For this one I used three different colors and then I changed the position of each color for every layer. And then here is what it looks like on the flip side. So that is the triple slip knot bracelet. I hope that everyone enjoyed this tutorial and found it easy to follow. You can always leave me comments on YouTube and Facebook post pictures of your creations to my Facebook page, and please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on all of my latest tutorials. 
You can also find me on Pinterest and Instagram, so please feel free to subscribe to those as well. Thanks for watching!